Welcome, I'm Dr. Janine Barry, naturopathic doctor, and today I'm talking about whole food versus synthetic vitamins, and specifically vitamin B6. So I want you to check your vitamin labels. Maybe you're taking a vitamin B6. This could be in your multivitamin or in your B complex as well. And what you'll see is vitamin B6, and then in brackets, it will say pyridoxin hydrochloride. And look for that, that is a telltale sign that this is a synthetic vitamin. And the way that this is usually manufactured is from the petroleum ester. So yes, from the petroleum industry, as well as a mixture with hydrochloric acid and formaldehyde. So yeah, formaldehyde from the cadaver lab. I don't know if you've done that, but I've done that when I was at the naturopathic college and having to study anatomy. That stuff is toxic. It stays on you and that smell forever and ever unless you do like some deep cleaning. So yeah, to know that this is in synthetic vitamins that are supposed to be healthy for you, you have to sometimes think twice about taking those in my opinion. So of course I prefer to go from the whole food sources of vitamin B6 and getting it in its natural state. And this is why it is complexed with the other nutrients in the foods that contain vitamin B6 to ensure that proper absorption and utilization by your body. So some of the best sources of B6 include salmon, which is great. So these are the non-vegetarian sources as well as chicken. Pork also has vitamin B6, which is naturally occurring, and beef as well. Now for the vegetarians, to get your vitamin B6, you can include things like potatoes and sweet potatoes, as well as bananas and avocado. So avocado is such a great superfood. It has so many nutrients, as well as pistachio nuts. So if you love nuts like I do, then this is great for your B6. And chlorella. So chlorella is a blue-green algae, which I love. It's great for vegetarians. It does have naturally occurring B vitamins, which is great, and they all help one another for that proper absorption. So I hope that you've learned something new today. So please do check your vitamin labels at home for that vitamin B6. If it is that synthetic form, the pyridoxine hydrochloride, you might make a decision and maybe think twice about taking it in that synthetic form. Also, if you've got any questions, I would love to hear from you. More comments, I would love to hear from you in that comment section below, so please put them all there. And share this video. I truly appreciate all of your thumbs up as well, and all of those likes that you give to all my videos. And if you're new to my channel, welcome in. I hope that you'll subscribe and turn on those post notifications by clicking that bell so you're always notified of my newest and latest uploads which happens every single day of the week and remember to always take good care of your health and do it naturally thanks for watching me today